Hi, Chris. Are you on top of the mountain too? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> All right, we're live, guys. I started the live stream. Thank you so much. Of course. Oh, man, how I wish I was on top of that mountain with you. Yeah, we had them. Um, we'll share some pictures in the group. How long it was, was that? nice, but the weather is today a bit less, but it's, uh, it's okay. How long did it take you? I've lost your audio. Chris? I know I was muted oh, on purpose oh, okay. because Griff would say very oh. dirty things. <laughs> I've got two Griffs. Who else do we already have on a call? Because we uh, we can't see it on our phones. It's just us. I see a bearded guy and another guy without a beard. Is that all just us? I was probably Griffin. You're the bearded guy. <laughs> so that's cool. And we can say whatever we want. Yeah, I got two bearded guys. Huh? The biggest struggle every week is to remember what I did. Because <laughs> I have everything in my trailer, but I'm like just too lazy to open it now. <laughs> But yeah, if you open it, I have it in my OneNote, so I have all my notes of the week. See that? That's why I so easily talk for so long. And it's like waiting. Oh no, I didn't post and give it the unicorns. Maybe that's why. Yeah. VRM works, but I'm on it. It's working great. Yeah, but my OneDrive is backing up. I need to stop this because I'm taking my video. Is there a way to stop other people's videos? To... Yeah. Uh, on Jitsi, there's a button to actually... For your so own video. For your own, but for everyone else. When you click, there's in the bottom right there's like three dots or something and there's like video uh, like low bandwidth mode or something okay. like that yeah and you can even just do audio i have mine muted does everyone else have them someone is not muted Well, it's... Hey, Quasia. Okay, well, I think we have, uh, uh, have an echo. An echo. <laughs> I think we're ready to start. Uh, who wants to say what they did this week? I, I can go. Yeah. Yeah, I have to find my list too. All right, I'll get us started. Oh, hold on. I probably have to go. Yeah. 
Es lento, güey. Go ahead, Lindsay. All right. Now can you almost connect it? Um, all right. This week I've been moving around a lot. I was in Vancouver for Dogecoin and a lot of decentral planning with a big crew up there. And I think made a lot of progress. And I'm in Colorado now and really focused on um, decentral stuff, getting speaker series, getting hexier, getting dues paid, getting every answers to anyone that doesn't know what's going on. And spending a lot of time on the beta, uh, trying to get milestones to work. Right now, I'm having some issues, it seems, with the video embedding. And so I'll be working team on that and uh we'll hand it off to chris yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe chris or whoever is paying attention at the moment and take on yeah i can go no problem i was just uh, no. turning off my you can hear me yeah okay, great uh looking through my notes on my phone one second I think pretty early on. Okay, um, so this uh, week, uh, first I uh, reviewed a little bit and discussed the Reddit text uh, by Adam, which is on um, what the last mile, um, and also on some other changes on the milestone text. Um, a thorough review and feedback on the Dapner text by Idu and Yiller before uh, we, we launched that one. Uh, I reviewed... Um, Comms campaign I created an adapt this weekend and I submitted some issues to uh, improve the beta dap. Um, announcement the preparation the holding of comms meeting, um, which we did here. Um, then I did another push to get the ride bot going, and so Deem created some issues for this. Um, and then I arrived in Switzerland where we did a little bit of arrival preparation. For the rest, social outreach and some highlights there are like the Dapnode Alpha launch, uh, promotion of people as magicians, and then just interaction with people in our own ride and Slack as always. Then specifically here with uh, the Aragon team here in Geneva, so we had a very, uh, very interesting and good comms meeting um, with the Aragon team specifically on how we can do communication on the Aragon DAC. Lots of other talks on finance and, and other things with uh, Aragon and, and picking their brain. And uh, this morning we had the Aragon DAC meeting. And now we just hiked up a mountain. And I give it to Quasia. Hello. Um, so this week uh, I've been sort of transitioning the uh, social coding campaign pillar. I'm continuing to do work with the planning app. Uh, we just went through a major redesign of that. Uh, obviously, also met for the Aragon DAC uh, movements. And uh, related to that, I've started to look over the two main repos that uh, the Aragon DAC will start with um, as far as responsibility. Um, and I've started uh, just today, uh, got my feet wet with the Nest um, proposal process and uh, made my first comment on a proposal. Um, so yeah, it's been cool. Uh, I Everybody's a fellow Jetser, so I have no idea who anybody is. So whoever's hasn't gone. Riff. I can go. So let's see. Uh, let me switch to my thing. So let's see. This week there was an open source block explorer call, obviously, which went really well. It was pretty quick. Uh, lots of Argon DAC bouncing things off of people, and we had the big meeting here in Zug. Uh, I did a lot of traveling. I tried to go to Vancouver, didn't work out, ended up in Seattle and Spokane, played uh, Hoop Fest with my family, and that was really fun. Uh, and so I kind of had a lot of random family stuff going on, which slowed me down. But at the same time, you know, it's always the same projects. Like uh, uh, identity stuff was kind of on hold because – uh, we're getting a Swiss foundation thing uh, or association, and that should happen on Monday. Uh, DAP node had a big release. I also helped review that uh, code and just uh, organizing some meetings and some grants with them. Uh, 
we are, I did a lot of testing on the DAP and just making a lot of GitHub issues and random other things. Uh, there was a lot of Burning Man stuff. Uh, one of the main guys bailed on us, so we had to, I, not bailed, he just can't get into the country. You know, I, I can empathize, so like uh, we just had to kind of uh, find new people, uh, review of the uh, security plan. Oh, I also had a colony hackathon that I judged, and I really want to make sure that we get all these people that participate in the colony hackathon to be part of our hackathon. Uh, and I'm sure there is a bunch of other stuff, but I didn't really get to write out my, my thing very well. So how about Lorelei? Hey. Um, yeah. yeah. Hello. Um, yeah, this week, lots of travel and family stuff with Griff and, uh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. sure. And um, working on the unicorn basic income, uh, unicorn DAC proposal, uh, and just been going into the wiki a lot and looking for things that need to be tidied up and refreshed, uh, testing out beta a bit. <laughs> and yeah. And being here in Switzerland and having great meetings. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think we're calling on whoever calls on themselves. So. Oh, okay. Mute. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? All right. So this week. Wow, that's a list. Uh, I, I made a presentation and a talk in Paronipolis uh, about UX UI. Uh, met some really good people there, did a one day of co-working with them. Uh, then uh, finalized Adam's conversation milestone uh, article. Um, and all right, made sure that did the migration to, to beta and made sure that everyone's uh, recreates their campaign and every and migrated all the users and all the milestones there basically i think yeah that's it is there anyone else who needs to go It's hard for us to keep track, so. We're on a mountain. Help us out. I think that's it. I think it's you guys and me. And Quasia. And Qu oh, Quasia's at the house. Yep. Yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Well, then uh, there is one Lumio. So uh, I guess we can check in really quick. Uh, but first, I'll do logistics. There is one Lumio proposal. Uh, which is by Chris. I'm not sure if we're actually going to do the full governance process, but uh, we'll see. So other than that, RJ is around listening, but toggled off. And uh, we'll see how long the rain lasts. What? Okay, talk. Uh, just saying like on that note that we're on a mountain we can't take notes up here so if anyone else wants to take notes i usually start at um at uh intentions so that would be great if anyone else wants to i know it'll be kind of a casual meeting so i can i can take that on okay thank you Lindsay. yeah of course uh where are those gotcha. Lindsay, yeah, the the template for the Gov meeting notes is in the governance channel. It's in the documents on the governance channel. If you like click on the document thing on the side, it's right there. Okay, perfect. But uh, we, if you miss our check-ins, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. And honestly, I, I don't even know if there's going to be much to take notes on, so we'll see. Okay. But anyway, uh, I'll start with the check-in. Uh, intentions for this meeting, have a quick one so we can get back in the, to the mountain and get some fondue. Uh, and then uh, 
<laughs> yeah, and uh, I am definitely distracted by having to play the mute game and the video game. Turn that on. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. How about Wojtek? I've never been so undistracted in the governance meeting, I think. <laughs> because I literally don't have anything else to do than just listen to you guys. I have, but I have no intentions, so I guess that's... <laughs> kind of irrelevant, irrelevant. Lindsay. <laughs> um, no distractions and uh, my intentions are to do anything that needs to be done off of the mountaintop at the moment. So uh, Chris. Yeah. Um, no distractions, same as Wojtek and um, intentions are maybe to just uh, discuss casually some of the things well, yeah, actually, everyone on the mountain knows. It's only Lindsay that we have to catch up on some stuff. So no clear intention for the rest. Yeah, just uh, talking to you guys. Talking to Lindsay. <laughs> um, I'm giving it to um, uh, Kai, um, Kwasia. Hello. Uh, I'm also fairly distraction-free. Um, my battery is low on my computer, so I'm right next to a speaker. I guess that qualifies as a distraction. Intention-wise, uh, I'm very curious to see how the conversation around this plays out, but I don't think that we're going to be able to come to a conclusion. Um, so I guess my intention is just to, you know, talk and see what we can figure out. Um, uh, has, is that everyone? Yep, I think so. Boy tech go yeah, he did. Um, yeah. Oh, I need to... uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you <laughs> My mute button is flashing on and off, so <laughs> I don't mean. Um I was just intending to like not take this too seriously since we don't have solidified proposals yet. I think it'll be valuable if like, people are feeling ideas. So that's everyone. Well, so we have a new post. I don't know. Do you want to talk about it? Not post, but we can talk about it. Yeah. So um, the proposal is, I would say, kind of tabled for now because it's not um, completely fleshed, fleshed out, and we talked a lot about it here in Switzerland already with, with at least all of the um, circle leads and, and also with, with, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and with Satya and, and I also talked a little bit with Kai who's taking the week off, but he had some good uh, feedback on it as well. But in short, um, so Griff has his uh, UBI proposal and there was still a little bit of misunderstanding about that. Uh, but the idea would be that we have that we look more into people uh, looking or setting their own salary. I would propose, um, but that is combined with a UBI that could possibly even go lower that what than what Griff currently proposed. And for the UBI, the only thing, well, the <laughs> very important thing that we ha we have to work on is to um, have more of like some of the onboarding elements worked out, like what do you need to do to really get onto the UBI? And um, I'm, I'm very much volunteering to help with that because Griff took on a lot of extra responsibilities again now with the Aragon DAC and Decentralist coming up. Um, so I, I would invite everyone to like uh, work and fee give feedback on the UBI document so that we can uh, have something that starts to make sense. But after, I'm not going to repeat everything. Maybe Griff can 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 uh, give some feedback on it. But I think we got to some sort of consensus that it's safe enough to try with the UBI when it is worked out a little bit more. Um, for the um, yeah, and so for the setting your own salary or working on a more teal oriented uh, way of of setting salaries, uh, that's something that um that that I'm going to make a proposal for when <laughs> as soon as I've I've, I've made a, pro no, actually, sorry, I'm rambling here. Uh, the thing that is, that's so new for me, I know. Is it a voice like laughing or are you laughing? 
Um, it's because of the altitude. <laughs> no, but the thing that we discussed just this morning still for this specific proposal is we have now this one document, which is the um, mission statement on which we started for the different circles working on the goals for the circles. Out of the, the specific goals for the circles on which the circle leads are working, the circle leads could work on, okay, these are more details goals per circles. And out of that, it's very, well, it's quite easy uh, for the circle leads to also say, okay, if we have these goals, then we need these specific roles to fill, fulfill these goals. And then you can link people to specific roles. And one role is not the same as one person. One person can have more than one role. And so this can be linked to the proposal to have one um, monthly um, role meeting, for example, in which we uh, have yeah, a, a mechanism to discuss all the roles that are open, that need to be reviewed, that need to be exchanged or whatever. And that's the thing that we can set up in one or multiple proposals. And that's some feedback on the things we talked about. Maybe I'm forgetting something, Griff. Go ahead. Hmm? Yeah, I think we're going full on fireside chat here. Uh, so, but maybe we can kind of go around because we all have a little bit of discussion on the UBI thing. So uh, maybe we'll do our side first since we're all here and then uh, so, do you want to go next, Lale? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, what are we, we're just, like, so, reacting to this? Yeah, okay. talk about UBI. Okay, so, um, roles. yeah, uh, we've been working on this proposal of, uh, Topic, creating this community, this unicorn DAC that tops everyone up to like 900 euro a week. Um, and half of that is to pay yourself out of and half of it is to donate, delegate to other people. <laughs> and um, I really like the direction it's going in because I feel like it gives us an opportunity to test um, an element of the DAP by um, like internally us having the ability and responsibility to donate um, to other people within Giveth. Um, and we do need to be testing that before we release it to others. Uh, and I think it really like invites people to be like self responsible for like how much work they're doing and how they're valuing it. You can like pay yourself the full amount of that every week or you cannot. And um, as well as like how you value uh, other work that's going on uh, within Giveth and it like hands the power over to all of us to decide like what's worthwhile. Um, to be like going forward and funded, which is cool because then it's not just like coming from one decision maker or a small handful of them. Um, I think it needs to be developed a lot more. And to me, there's like all of these different motivations um, and different tensions that this proposal solves that I think aren't quite visible to people yet um, and I've just been like trying to pull those out of the word woodwork and pull them out of Griff's brain a lot because it's like and people are like wait no but um, yeah I'm just excited to solidify it more I don't know um, what else I have to say I guess there was a, a big miscommunication about it seeming like lowering what people are getting paid overall and that's not the goal the goal is that people are getting paid more in general my turn okay uh so yeah i i think there was some definitely some miscommunication but i like the way that it's developing in the end uh it is something that's been on the back burner for me a little bit and you know i really want to see this happen but it's uh, I haven't, this last two weeks have really been tough with my family adventure in Washington. So uh, I just 
kind of couldn't finish it. Um, <laughs> but I do think that we will, uh, uh, as the advice process continues and we get more feedback and more feedback and we flesh it out, it's going to uh, build and be better and better. Uh, it's just going to take a lot of feedback rounds. And uh, this this afternoon we were talking, I was talking with Wojtek, Quasia, and Chris, but mostly uh, and Sacha, mostly Chris, Sacha, and Wojtek. And uh, we were talking about how maybe it, it would be better to have a lot smaller thing. Like the point of the UBI to me is to kind of say, hey, this is the steering committee for the Giveth Galaxy. And we you know, we want to basically have some hoops to jump through so that we can say you're a committed team member versus you're just some random contributor that comes through. Uh, and there's going to be some criteria there that needs a lot of thought before we really solidify it. And uh, then there's also going to be money that you can use to steer the the organization because we want to do this in a more decentralized way. Uh, one of the problems we're running into right now is that the way the DAP works right now, it would be really complicated and ugly to do. And so there might need to be some features added to the DAP, which is a, a tricky thing because we're kind of moving towards a feature freeze so that we can really focus on getting the DAP uh, more like reliable in every other way. So that's, that's one thing that we have to balance in uh, and follow through the, with the advice process. And then the other big piece is, uh, you know, numbers and uh, what are the criteria and what kind of governance are we going to use to actually uh, manage the DAC? Uh, how, what is the consensus for kicking people out? What's the criteria for that? There's, there's a lot of questions. And so, uh, but I am liking the idea of leaning towards more like 100 to $200 uh, a week kind of thing with more money going towards how much you can steer. And because uh, that is the main thing that I'm trying to focus on is all the drama that we had a couple of weeks ago with like, you know, who, uh, author, you know, the fact that we have kind of a plutocratic uh, tool and that there needs to be some kind of solution so it can be more decentralized on, on that front. The other piece of this discussion is the roles, which I really like being in tandem with this. Uh, because we're trying to get rid of regular rewards and move more towards a, a role-based thing, which was the intention when we started, but uh, it just never had buy-in. But there's clear buy-in uh, now. So uh, managing that and starting to use that, use our DAP to create the roles, I think will be really fun. Uh, so uh, we'll. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna work out pretty well. Uh, but. I see these as two different uh, proposals and UBI has nothing to do with how we pay ourselves. It's like just a different thing, you know, and uh, it's also going to be opt in. So like, if you want to keep what you have, I mean, I feel like that then you should, but, um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how both these proposals develop. Uh, Wojtek. All right. Yeah. Uh, as Griff said, we had a little bit discussion today, so I'm cheating. Uh, basically, I feel like uh, UBI is a really great content. Uh, con yeah, really great con concept. Thank you. And uh, I would love to see it reality. I'm I'm not sure whether it's great within Giveth itself, but I think it's a uh, a good to to try it and good to experiment with it. And that's something I would expect from the governance circle in general. Uh, and we talked about the limitations in the DAP and the decision kind of was, let's just create a proposal like we have the DAP that can do everything, right? And then we see whether those are features that we need to build or whether we can cover them somehow else. But like, let's not limit the proposal to the capabilities of the DAP. And we already identify a way how we could potentially do that. Um, yeah. Uh, Lindsay? Um, sure. Um, as everyone has stated, it needs to be developed, this concept. And it's great communication and, and an amazing experiment, especially with the timing with um, collaborative 
collaboration with Aragon and building their DAC and everything. And, um, and you know, I think that we all come from different places as far as where we want this to go and how much we think we should get paid and how much we think other people should get paid. A lot of like holacracy and now teal organizations are being talked about, but that does mean something a little bit different to everybody. And I don't think that holacracy is a fit for giveth. I think it does take too much, too much governance and political, like too much babysitting a little bit. And, um, that we should work with this teal organizations. And I'm actually going to throw out another book that I've just finished called swarm wise. I don't know if anyone has read that, but if anyone's interested, I'll put the PDF here and in the riots and it's just a free book. Um, and it's an easy read, but it seems like very agile and very, you know, less governance and a little bit more where we want to go. Um, still kind of digesting it. I just kind of finished it last night, but that that we're on in the right direction these conversations are very important and and that we'll find what works for us and that we wouldn't she, we shouldn't try to fit into somebody else's idea of what our organization looks like um so because nobody's done what we're trying to do and uh and it's exciting and so yeah we're in the right direction we should talk about both all these proposals and I think they all fit together including the roles the roles meeting the UBI and this alternative strategy so um yeah more like keep commenting keep putting your ideas out there and then eventually we will have to have an absolute decision and try something I think we should set a deadline for when you know something is safe enough to really try and give it also like at least a month or six weeks or something so we can really see it in play. So we'll see what happens, but I'll pass it to Quasia. Yeah, um, so all of this is really exciting to me. Uh, I like the idea of putting more emphasis on the steering. Uh, I agree that holacracy has a lot of overhead in general and that's probably not the best thing. Um, I feel like Swarmwise uh, organization and holocratic organization will fall under the umbrella of what I'd consider teal. Um, but I agree we shouldn't have to copy a specific model as long as we're following those general principles. I don't have a lot else to say. Uh, I guess one question I'd have is whether or not this is even super applicable uh, for me. Um, it sounds like if it's going to be like a unicorn DAC, then potentially it would be relevant. But if I'm going to be in a DAC other than the Giveth DAC, um, I don't know how that would affect me, uh, if it's like the same thing or what. But I guess either way, it's uh, you know, it's a cool idea to talk about and try. Um, I, I like the idea of setting a specific deadline. I would say maybe not next week's meeting, but the meeting after that. I don't know if that sounds realistic to everybody, but I don't think I'd go any farther than two weeks out. Um, just because that seems like plenty of time. One week seems like kind of short, uh, but I think two is good. Um, that's really yeah, all. Clar clarification I question. Are you talking deadline for UBI or for roles? I think they're, as we've said, they all go hand in hand. So I don't see any reason not to implement them at the same time. I think that roles is probably a more complicated decision process. Um, but I also think that the roles decision process is uh, less requires less group group uh, consensus um, just because all of the circles and the individuals within circles are basically just going to have to define those roles. Um, it's not like we're going to have to all agree on them necessarily. There's less, you know, does that help? Does that clarify? Yep. Cool. Cool. Well, um, it's, I think that's everyone, right? Uh, I so. so, so yeah, uh, it's just good to hear our thoughts on that. Uh, the one other thing that I want to add to this fireside chat is we had a good discussion with Aragon 
And the Argon DAC, it seems like it's pretty much a go. We have some action steps, and there's a that uh, there were there are notes, uh, and there's the building Argon DAC document, which is now in our drive, which has a link to the notes inside of it. It also has the action steps at the bottom, and who's going to take those action steps? So, I just want to say. Uh, that you know, for the live stream people who are watching, yeah, not that that's anyone. Uh, <laughs> that that Argon DAC is in full force, and uh, I fully expect it to happen at this point. Uh, probably in the next two books, just like everything else. Uh, and yeah, I think that's probably all we have. We have like some mist rolling in, which is kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> it just just uh, we just fell into a cloud. But, yeah, um, but uh, I don't know. Does anyone else have anything they want to add to this fireside chat? Fire would be nice. Yeah. Um, specific issues for more you know personal people, but um. I don't know what else uh, should be brought to this meeting. Anybody? I was. Um, um, I just wanted to say for the the time, the the deadlines, etc. I don't mind like um, picking up the the roles thing to like go like push the the leads to actually kick it off to define. Uh, a bit more what the goals are per circle and then like start off like a sheet etc to get that part going so I, I I don't mind committing myself to doing that okay. for that discussion yeah and I think I can get some work in in the UBI through I, I really don't I mean I guess I can probably have a proposal uh, well with Lorelai's help with a lot of Lorelai's help uh, of the proposal but I just feel like it's going to have a lot of feedback rounds, so I don't know that it'll make the two weeks thing, but uh, I'll make sure that there is a proposal that is relatively can, concrete. Yeah, I, I imagine a Lumio proposal for next week and then uh, a feedback round. And then, like, it will probably also have a feedback round with the DAP team on what's viable, you know, that's the other piece. But we'll, we'll but as Wojtek said, we'll imagine that everything we all of the dreams that we want can happen with the dap and we'll go from there um okay well i i think we should close it because it's okay, really cool real quick question. who is anyone else coming to berlin or is it the three of us is it, is it you me and lorelei or who else is going to be in berlin uh is anyone else going to berlin no no but i'll see no. you in brussels Lindsay. i sure hope so uh okay yeah so i think it's I, I I think there will be a lot of other people there, but they won't be. Uh, they're not core giveth people. Like I'm pretty sure Cleo will be there, uh, or um, Alexandra, but, as like, she calls Paul herself. Like, yeah. Oh, for, for for housing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. We could probably try to combine with some other groups. I'll I'll put a word out there and see if we can find a group house that's cheaper, probably. Okay. Great. Um, and you guys are going there on the 10th? I haven't fully decided yet. Okay. Uh, it really, it really, I really want to wait to decide until Zug is, uh, okay. is, until I'm in Zug for sure and understand what the role, what's going to have to happen. <laughs> okay. We're, we're really cold. So okay. we really got to go. <laughs> yeah. uh, closing. Huge thank job. you guys. Yeah. Good meeting. <laughs> Like, bye bye. bye. <laughs> Chris. Uh, bye bye. Check out. Bye. Yeah, it was really nice, and we're literally in a cloud now, so we're gonna go. But thanks for the meeting. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Bye, bye, Lindsay. Bye. See you soon. RJ, you want to say anything? Yeah, I'm glad this meeting's done. So I can warm up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Take care. Quasi. Uh, Lindsay, Quasia. Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, thank you, guys. And Lindsay, make sure you end the live.